HG Laser LSF Laser Marking System Operation Guidance. So our system, this one is a 20 watt fiber laser system. It is air cooling. You can find here is the gavel head. The laser will come out from here and do the marking at this area. The soft fill interface will be shown in this screen. Here is the power off and the power on switch and also the emergency button. Since the laser marking system all the time you should use the marking on the focus area. So here the height you should adjust. The adjust method is just you use this to get it unlocked. And the height can be adjusted by this wheel manually. If there was any service issue, please contact our local agent or us by our website. You can see all of our system, there would be one nameplate. And just mention to us the sheriff's number and call us or our local person. Now I will introduce you how to use our system. When you want to turn on the system, ensure this emergency button is in release condition. Otherwise, the system would be locked up. You could not turn on. And then here is a power switch. Once you want to turn on the system, first, you should get the main power switch on. Second, you should get the key switch on and the night we show rain. Below the system, there was our control PC. Just to turn on this button. And you can see, in normal working condition, here should be in green light. Once you turn on the PC, you can see from the PC screen, here, is our software interface and enter into the inter. Once you enter into the software, here is our software operation interface. You can see, you can draw simple graphic from here. If you want to mark buckle, you should use this caricature. If you want to put any tags, you can use this one. And from the right side, you can saw all the parameter will be shown here. Normally, we will just use the three parameters. One is the speed, one is the power, and one is the frequency. At the bottom of the software, there were two buttons. One is the red indicator, which can show the scan area. And the mark button is just to turn on the laser beam to generate marking process. Now, we will show you how to adjust the Z focus. First, First, drop one text on the interface, okay, and then use the red indicator. You can get exactly area from the marking place. Then you should choose to continue to select the marking. You can see the marking 
is not clear. Once you adjust the z-axis, the marking would be different. Okay, just find the most powerful area, like this one, and then stop. Because at just that position, we can get the most clear marking. So, this is the right position. And then you can get z-axis data recorded in your notebook. So next time, to marking this kind of things, you can use the same height. In different material would have different height. So every time, if the height of the item is different, you should adjust z-axis manually, and then take a record. Now we will tell you how to set the marking parameter. Now we will tell you how to do a text marking. First, select the text and drop it to the area. Then the default text would be the text one. Here, there was one, you know, text input interface. You just typing on what you want and click apply. Here, it would be changed into the right exactly text. If you want to fill in the text, you should use the fill in method. In this interface, you can use different parameter to do different kind of filling. Let's make the filling distance into 0 0.5. And then you can see it's already filled. Then, now we will show you different parameters marking different appearance. Normally, for marking, we will use speed, power, and the frequency. Right now, we keep the power and the frequency the same and set different speed. Oh, the marking speed is 1000 mm per second. You can see the time cost is only something around 0 0.1 second, less than 0 0.1 second. Right now we set the speed into 500 mm per second. Now the marking is 500 mm per second. Z. In this 500 mm per second marking speed, the time cost would be 1.1 second. You can see the different marking appearance. With more marking speed, the marking accuracy resolution would be more nicer. With small, you know, marking speed, and you can get more clear marking. Okay, now we keep the speed the same and we change the power. In this condition, the power is 20 percentage. Let's see what we can get. The marking is in 20 percentage laser output energy. It's clear, but seems a bit light. Let's set the power 90 percentage. See. Here we already change the power output 90 percentage. Here we click start marking. You can see the 90 percentage of the output power. It can get more clear marking than the 20 percentage. Right now, we keep the speed and the power the same, but we change the frequency. Right now, we change the frequency. Set it as 80. Kilo HC. Let's see what will happen. Okay. You can see in 80 Kilo HC, the marking is a bit in light color, but seems 
in good resolution. The frequency into 20 kilo HC. And here we mark. You can see the color would be more, but the resolution would be worse than the high frequency one. So, for different material marking, you should change to different speed, power, and frequency. You should test the material and then find a suitable one. But just notice you, the z-axis you should find in the right way. Okay, there was one more question. <clears throat> Normally, sometimes we should be marking different appearance by different parameter how to achieve. We can use this different layer color. Different color, that means you can use different layer. In each layer, you can use, you know, to lock different parameters. See, there were two layers. In the black layers, the parameter setting is like this. But for the blue layers, the parameter mat mat setting is also different. So the marking appearance would be different. We will show you. You can see by different parameter layer the marking quality would be different. During the laser marking, not only we should mark the single line but sometimes you should mark in with the filling. So how to set the different filling? You can use this button. Like here, this button. There was four different feeding methods, and this one is the most, most faster one. If you want to get the best marking quality, then you can select this one. Normally, you can see the different feeding space is setting by this parameter. Now I will tell you how to mark in the barcode or data matrices. Click this button and drop the one into the interface window. Here you can input exactly which message you want. For example, HG laser. Click apply. So here you can choose different barcode type. Let's make it data matrix apply. Now we get the data matrix. So normally this data matrix would be used with the filling. Select your suitable distance and the filling method. And you will get the edge laser barcode. Let's see what will happen. Okay, here we get the barcode. Okay, right now the brief marking guidance is already given. So normally, for the laser marking system, you should get this clean. You can see below, there was one lens. During the marking, the dust will vampolize onto the lens. So you should get it cleaned. Maybe one week, you should use ochre to clean the surface. And also, inside of the gavel head, there were two micro motors inside. Don't get it punched or get it serious shake. Otherwise, you will get this gavel head damaged. 
and also you can see the laser is coming out from this gutter head but transmitted by this fiber cable so it's very easy broken it's friggable so don't punch it don't do that and keep it with some certain distance inside of the cavity you can see the laser source so don't get the yellow cable broken and make sure the laser source is in clean condition for more information you can find from our operation manual the issue still could not get solved just mention us the show as number call to our after sales service department or contact our local agent thank you for your patience to read and watch HG Laser LSF Fiber Laser Marking System Operation Guidance Video. Wish you a nice day.